The Raspberry Pi AI camera is an amazing new invention that allows you to offload the processing required to perform AI applications on the edge to the Sony IMX500 device. It uses the Sony IMX500 imaging sensor to provide low latency, high performance AI capabilities to any camera application. To make using vision technology for production line inspections even easier, we have created Brain Builder for Atrios. Whether it's automating quality control, inspecting components, or tracking productivity, Brain Builder for Atrios gives you the tools to train AI models or brains for these vision-based tests. Before you can use the Brain Builder for Atrios application, you will need a license. Brain Builder for Atrios uses the code meter licensing software to handle each license. You can start using the software with a trial license that will give you access to the classifier and detector model builders. After the trial is up, you can obtain a full license for just the classification and detection systems or upgrade to the full license that also allows access to the anomaly recognizer. Now that we have our license, we can download the code meter control center. From here, you will need to select your operating system, and then you can download the code meter software that best fits you. What you will do is after you have obtained your license, you will simply drag your license right into here, right into the license field. And then code meter at this point is managing your license. And now you're all set to begin installing the Brain Builder application. Now that we have our license, we are ready to install the Brain Builder application. Now, Brain Builder works on Windows 10 or Windows 11 or on Ubuntu 20.04 or Ubuntu 22.04. You can see all the specs here in the documentation. Brain Builder may not work properly on an incompatible system. You also need to decide whether you will use the CPU or the GPU version of Brain Builder. For a Windows user, you will simply download the unzip, extract it, and run through the installation process. For Linux users, you will unzip the correct Neurala file, and then you will install the application from there. Now let's move on to using the application. Locate and open the Brain Builder application. I will be using a Windows device. If this is your first time using Brain Builder, you will need to create an account. Let's make this Builder test account. After your account is created, your account details will be saved locally. And then the next time you open Brain Builder, it will automatically open to the last account that was logged in. And then let's go ahead and create our account. And here we are. We've officially logged in to Brain Builder and we are now ready to begin creating our first project. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.